Hey guys, I'm Brandon Gaylor. Today we're going to be working on the Miata. I've got this old ratty top on it that the back window's falling through. This is the top that came on it when I bought it. And we're going to be taking this top off and putting a brand new Robbins top on it. First thing I'm going to do is take off these the um, latches that connect up here to the top. I've got my Milwaukee impact driver with this adapter on it and I've just got this little screw bit head, screwdriver bit head. It's not magnetized so I'm going to have to hopefully not drop it anywhere. Like that. So here's my little magnetized based base. Let's put my little screws there. Oop. Don't want to drop that. There's just three in each one. There's that one out. That's the driver side one. It's a little crusty looking. I may want to I don't know, maybe buy some new one of these or something. It's kind of nasty looking. It's all pitted and stuff. There's both of them off. So it looks like all these screws here are going to need to be taken off. I don't know how well y'all can see them. Let's see. There's one there. There. There's four of them up front. So I guess I'm going to do that next. I haven't looked up any videos or anything like that of how to take these tops off. I'm just going to look at it and kind of wing it and figure it out for myself. There's the first one. It's just a screw with a... It's got a little rubber like... washer on it to keep it waterproof, I guess. So there's all four of those. I really wish I had me a magnetized socket here for this, but I don't. So there's a little metal rod that holds that front flap on for the top. Like that. Let's save this. That definitely doesn't need to get bent. I need to do these next. Yeah, I'm going to take... There's two screws holding on this weather stripping stuff. So let's do that next. So those are about the same kind of screws. They don't have the little rubber rubber um, gasket thing on it, or washer. Right, let's see if this will come off now. Okay, so that flap of the top came from under there. I just don't want to damage this weather stripping at all. Okay, so that top's actually screwed right there. So this is going to have to come off. There we go. There's our driver's side weather stripping. This car's a 2001, so it's not 
super old, but it is 20 years old, so it's definitely not new and pristine in any way. So there's our passenger side. It looks like next, these right here are going to have to come off. So let me go to the other side and we'll finish working it off. Looks like it's been glued on. So these screws are shiny, but they're not actually seen. They're under the weather stripping. To me, this car is like someone's classic car that I want to keep somewhat looking nice. And I guess most of me auto people are just ragging it out and putting all kinds of crazy stuff on it or whatever I want to keep this car I want to build it to where it is like trackable and pretty awesome has some decent power and everything and handles great for a Miata but I want it to be comfortable and can be toured I guess travel in it and keep it I plan on keeping this car forever and it was kind of glued on there you go removal of the crusty top I'm gonna move these these that way before I spill them everywhere And put them in here. There's a wire going to get here. So after watching a video on this, it's going to be easier to take this whole top assembly off and then take the actual fabric off from it outside the car. So first thing I'm going to do is remove this wind blocker. There's four um, screws holding this on, two on each side. So there's those two screws on that side. So there's the wind blocker removed. Should be able to clean that up while I've got it outside the car. So here's what I should have been doing from the get-go. Got some little sandwich bags or snack bags or where they are. 
and write down what these parts go to. So this is the top door bracket. Okay, so there's what that is. And what I've done so far, I'm gonna organize them in these little packs. That's the way I like taking stuff apart. So on the driver's side of this little cap thing, I actually broke off this piece here, this little clip. I'm gonna try not to do it on this side. I need me one of those clip puller tools. I have one, but I don't think I have it with me. So that actually worked. Two screwdrivers, I was able to get the little clip out. So I'm gonna have to get me a new clip like this for the other side. And then this pulls out. It's all nice and crusty. So next, after removing that, I'm gonna remove this little weather stripping piece. Let's see. There we go. That's pretty easy to do. Need to remember that's the driver's side. And then we'll come over here to the passenger one and do it on it. Wish I had me a row bar I was putting in here too since I'm tearing all this stuff apart. Be perfect time to do that. I'd like to get me a Blackbird Fabworks row bar someday. They're only about $1,200 or $1,300, so it's gonna be a while before I can get one of them. Next, I need to remove this whole plastic panel here. I'm gonna get this seat belt cover removed. Try not to break anything. Is that removed. Here's this little clip. And then, actually we just need this panel removed. Um, then on the back side, there's a little clip I need to get with my hands here I can get I don't even need my screwdriver yep. where's my screwdrivers at baby screwdriver there we go there's that out So that little oval piece, we need to remove it and get it out of the way. Then we can remove the rest of it, looks like. There's some clips down there.
Oh man, it looks like we've got ants. Found an ant pile in my Miata. Look at that. Just another more reason I need a garage. There we go, there's that panel out. We got ants all in it. Look at all the ants. It's not good. I'm gonna clean all that out. Where are they at? In the very bottom? There goes the passenger side. Hopefully there's not a bunch of ants in it either. I don't know what I'm going to do about the ants. I don't know if I need to tear the whole interior out and totally clean it out or what. That one, that one's a little clip there is missing. <laughs> there should be a clip right here. Okay, let's see. You get this pin out. There's that. I think there's supposed to be clips right there. I might I might have took them off already. Put that stuff in this bag. Seat belt panel. There we go. All right, let's try to get this panel off and hopefully there's not too many ants. There we go. No ants on this side, it's just the driver's side. By removing that panel, it exposes these three bolts here that hold the frame onto the car. So that's one of the main places where the frame is held onto. Next we'll be taking those out. There's that driver side out. 
There we go. Those are all out. This makes a world of difference versus the ratchet. Next, I'm removing this um, little clip that holds on the front of the rain rail. Really should have bought me a clip removal tool instead of using these screwdrivers. I have one at home, but it's a it's pretty big. It wouldn't work very well on these. There we go. There's that clip. And there's that in for the the um, rain part so there's that i'll go here and do the passenger side next next i'm going to climb in the car with the seats all forward facing here backwards like hopefully don't get ate up by ants and put this top like this And then we need to take, I don't know how well y'all can see, but we need to take these pins out. There's these here. Looks like, oh, there's a bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them, maybe. Nah. So I already have my defroster vent disconnected since my back window fell through. Now I'm going to work on taking all these little clips out. there's actually 12 of those clips and we got them all off next we gotta pull down this carpet and remove all of these nuts here that holds the back of the top of them it should all be a 10 millimeter and i'm gonna need a deep well socket so a short one's not gonna work. There you go. Deep well 10 millimeter socket. There's ones over here in the corner too that you'll need a ratchet to get to it your impact driver won't fit in there. So here's a little quarter inch ratchet. Yeah, 13 of those. They're all 10 millimeter. The next we've got to pull these metal rails out. Like that. the passenger side one out there's 
here's the main back one out and here's the driver's side Next we'll pull this brain rail out. Here's what it looks like now from that side. Should be close to getting the whole top out. I do not want to scratch up this over here. I think everything's pretty much free. So here's this little plastic piece here was kind of in the way. There's a pin that goes here. Let me get that out. So right there's the defroster. That can probably stay in from the looks of it. Let me get it off the other side too. Let's see. So here's this other plastic piece on the passenger side. Clean that piece up. All right, now let's see if we can get this top removed without scratching the car. So my rain fly is stuck down here. That's what's holding me up. There we go. 
So there's the driver's side out. Look how nasty that is. There we go, top is out. Got ants all over me. It wasn't too bad. It was a lot easier after I watched the video. Look at all these ants in here. They're just all over the driver's side of the car. It's going to be a pretty good project of just cleaning everything out. I may want to take all this carpet and everything out and try to clean the ants out. Not sure yet. Just happy to get the top actually off. I think what I'm going to do is, since everything's so nasty, I'm going to take this top carpet out. And then probably these back carpet behind the, the um, seats. And see how that is. Clean all that real well. Try to get... All the ants out if it's even worse like under the seat i may take the seats out and then some of the other carpet and clean all that too but while i've got all this tore apart i think i'm gonna clean it all up real nice so it's not so nasty you can see how nasty all this back in here is that's super nasty all this carpet's nasty ants everywhere so i think while this is all out i'll clean it up i really wish i could put a row cage in it while I've got all this tore apart. A row bar, not a cage. So, may look into getting one of those, I'm not sure yet. I could get the hard dog one for like 600 bucks, or I could get the one I really want, the Blackbird Fabworks, for like 12 or 1300. In probably gunmetal gray color. So, I don't know if it's worth doing that. That's the next, like, modification I want to do to it. Next part I want to get for it. So I think today, since I've got the top off, I think I'm gonna start taking these carpets out and see what's underneath. All right, let's see if we can get this rear carpet out. I've got the car running just to let it run and warm up and stuff while I'm working on it.
we go. There's the rear carpet out. Next, I'm going to pull this carpet out. There's just, um, looks like eight of those pins in it, holding it in. So, we'll see how cruddy it is under it. So, the bottom one is really easy. It was just this little small one versus these. There's actually six of them. Not eight, so here's under the back seat put carpet. That's not too bad. That's cleaner than the other carpet. I'll probably take these home and clean those up real well and clean up Try to clean up ants. Clean up all this while I've got it all out. You can see all the ants under there. I don't really know what to do with all the ants. I was hoping they were more up here, but it looks like they're all under the seat. I don't know if I could put something in here to kill them or scare them away or like deter them um, or if I just need to tear out all the carpet and clean them out I don't really want to do that I wouldn't be that hard though I need to take this off and the seats out then I could probably flop that carpet over enough to clean it all out so I'm going to pull this driver's side kick plate out of the car and see if I can free up some ants. See how bad it is under here. There we go. There's a few running around. I just wonder if they're in the rails of the car if they're all under the carpet I don't see any inside Take the seat out in this carpet, just for ants. Here we go, I'm gonna remove this, the seat, the um, lower seat belt mount behind the driver's seat. It's a 17 millimeter socket. Here we go. That was super easy. Now, I'm gonna remove, remove the driver's seat. So it's size socket we need for it. And smaller than a 17. Let's try a 15. Nope, smaller than 15. 14 Yep, to 14 Alright, here we go So I didn't plan on doing today But I've kind of always wanted to do it, so
All right, this seat should just come out now. That's way easier than using a ratchet. Am I stuck on something? I guess it's the thing that tells you to put your seatbelt on. Or I guess it's what tells you to, um, so there's one wire under the seat. I guess it's what lets the car know that there's somebody in the driver's seat. So there is the driver's seat actually out of the car. There's a pin, bunch of ants. There are pins from, pin from Pro Comp in Goodlitzville, Tennessee. There's all kinds of stuff under here. There's a penny. There's a screw. There's some chewed bubble gum. Look at all the ants. See all the ants in here. I think this is probably a good idea to take this seat out. Oh yeah, all kinds of ants. There's a quarter. It's all wet under here. It's all super wet. Yeah, all this carpet is wet. It's just dripping wet. See that? I don't know if it was I guess it's from the top. Either from the top or the, I don't know. All this carpet's wet. Wet and moldy, I guess. It's not good. So this right here may be part of the problem. This brown circle plug thing is actually open right here. I don't really know how I can fix that. I have to research it, but I don't know if I can pop it back down and put some new tape over it or what. Maybe gutting all the interior out of this car and fixing it. I don't really want to put it all back together if it's not right. Since I've got the driver's seat and everything out already, I might as well take the passenger out. That way I can clean it and clean up all the carpet and everything on it too. Ain't no reason to not. So, here we go. We've got two bolts there. There's the passenger seat. There's Beverly Herbo. Um, we need to get this out next. There we go. 
Hopefully this side ain't wet too. I hope we need to remove this. Forgot about that. Here we go. Yeah, it feels dry. This one's the sound deadening stuff came off of the carpet. That side feels fine. I'm not gonna remove it anymore. I don't wanna damage the sound deadening stuff even more than it is. Insulation stuff. But I will take my time and clean everything out while I've got it out. Didn't plan on doing that, doing all this with the top removal. I didn't plan on doing all this with the top removal, but since I've seen all the ants and then the wet stuff over there, I'm glad I did. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that little circle cap thing back on the car and seal back up so it doesn't leak. I think it's just got ground moisture came up from it, from underneath, and um, got under the seat wet and let ants and everything get in it. Now I'm gonna vacuum out as much of this stuff as I can. Hopefully try to get some of this water out and when I leave, I'll leave the floor up so I can, leave the carpet up so it can dry out, hopefully. Now I have to research and see how I can get that little seal thing back in. Just suck something up. Just suck something hard up. I don't know what it was, but it sounded important. Yep, here we go. And nut. Guessing it's one of the nuts off of the rain fly. Good thing I heard that. 